All right, so let's talk about a few pro tips. Number one is obvious, but always do your work in a neat and workmanlike manner, meaning trying to run everything very straight, putting a level on everything to make sure that you're running in groupings. If I've got like 10 runs, I'll try to space every single one of those the exact same spacing. It's impressive to look at, like aesthetically, it just looks great. Number two, use a level. Get used to using levels all the time. When you're bending a 90, pull your level out, stick it on there, and make sure it's actually a 90. Same thing goes when you're actually hanging conduit, you're putting it up. Number three, don't run hard conduit to a piece of equipment that vibrates. Number one, you're gonna create more sound, more vibration, because that translates through hard material. But number two, a lot of the times the couplings and connectors are gonna come rattling loose over time. If anything, use some sort of flexible conduit when you're going into equipment that vibrates. Number four, if you mess up, do it over. Which leads me to my next one, number five, always bring more conduit. If you know that you have a run that's 100 feet, don't just bring 100 feet of conduit. Bring two, three extra sticks. The chances of you having to bend something and then messing it up, bending it wrong, and having to redo it is pretty high. Just having extra means that you don't have to go take a damn drive to a supply house for 30 minutes to an hour just to get one more piece of pipe. Number six on the list is bring more strapping options. Having those caddy bang-ons, have the horizontal ones, have the vertical ones, have standoff straps, have one hole straps, but bring a whole bunch of strapping options and you're pretty guaranteed that no matter what you run into, you can make something work. Number seven on our list is try to get every single one of your couplings to line up. You don't have to do this, but I think that it's really impressive when somebody takes the time to make sure that every single one of their couplings are in straight lines every time they have couplings. Last on our list is use more junction boxes and try to minimize the amount of bending that you do. It could literally take you twice as long trying to get all that pretty bike work done than it would just to get the job done using J boxes and have everything still look beautiful.